Hello, hello, good evening everyone. So happy to be here. A bit later than uh, we intended at first, but uh, Magic Online was on downtime, so it was a bit, uh, a bit interesting to see if we could actually make this work. But we are here right now, and I am very honoured to welcome Julian Narb to the stream. Hello Julian, how are you? Hey Sam, welcome. How's everybody been doing? Hey, uh, I'm glad to be the the second guest on your on your series tonight. You're gonna have a lot of people, right? Exactly, it's going to be packed with amazing people, and uh, I think already have now uh, up to in May, I think, people who are coming to this stream. And uh, yeah, this is this is, last time. Even though I got crushed by Mark, I had so much fun. It was so interesting. Uh, a really fun game. So uh, yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm hoping to win at least one game today. That would be nice. <laughs> but uh, oh, we, we, I'm we not sure. See about that. Yeah, we'll see about that. Did you know, Julian, that we actually already played once in real life too? Do you remember? Okay, let me think. Did 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 you play Infect back then? Of course. What else? Uh, was it a cheapy or a Magic Card Market? It was a Magic Card Market. I oh, we might have uh, uh, the only. Other time I remember playing against Infect was like Frankfurt 2017. Exactly, that's the one. Um, yeah, that was me. <laughs> oh wow! See, I remember that. <laughs> you don't see Infect all that often. <laughs> Maybe I could just ask well, you: When is the last time you played against Infect? And it was probably me. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that was that was probably the last time I played against Infect. It was actually super important because I, I I ended up making top eight in that event, even though it was so unlikely I'd ever make it. But oh, yeah, nice. but when they announced like the top eight, they were like, and in eighth place, Julian Knapp, and I was like, what? <laughs> I was, like I was already ready to leave. And, and How did that happen? <laughs> was it was it breakers or? Uh, that yeah, ba happened? basically, um, there were two people who, who could have drawn in, but they got a feature match, and they were too scared to draw in a feature match. Which oh yeah, I mean, sure. I, I I have like an entire book to write about IDing and match manipulation and everything, so like props to them for playing it out and, and stuff but yeah if they drew they both would have been ahead of me but since they played i actually leapfrogged one of them and somehow got eighth place even oh, though it wow. was like totally impossible they probably felt bad once they realized this but uh yeah good for you that, that's pretty awesome so yeah um you already said that uh you, you top eight at the, was it a gp did i say this correctly uh, oh i wish i wish no no, <laughs> okay. not, no not, not a gp um I, I i've done some other things okay but you are a very very much known else player um probably one of the if not um, probably the most famous uh, European content creator. So I'm very happy to have you here. I'm very honored, honestly, because I've been following you for such a long time now that it's a uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a pleasure to have you here. And uh, one of my big examples when starting with Legacy. So uh, yeah. really, cheers, <laughs> you're too kind, man. cheers to be here. Cheers to be here. Really, I'm, I'm not. Like, uh, I'm you're not... saying that now, but it's just like a moment from now, you're gonna turn to me. I I, I can already feel it. <laughs> uh, I I I have um, I do have your deck list on screen here. But before we start, you are probably best known for playing elves, even though you do play other stuff as well. But um, yeah, I think maybe we can just play a game first and then discuss the deck list. That's probably the most interesting thing. Um, and for good. anyone watching the stream right now, you can see that I have the stream deck pop up over there. Um, usually it's my deck list, but uh, for this for this series, I have the decks uh, from my opponents. So you can click on there and you will see my opponent's deck list because I think that most people will probably know my deck lists uh -huh. by now. Um, so yeah, let's just jump straight into a game, shall we? And see how it goes. Let's see. Want me to tell you a secret? Yes. If you please. use Cardboard Live, you can actually have both players' deck lists on screen. Really? Yeah. Okay, I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> see, I learned so much from you. How? How do you do this? Uh, you set yourself up as a tournament organizer, and then if you do that, basically you, re you register Cardboard Live, and on the back end, you can choose whether you're a player or a tournament organizer. Okay. And a tournament organizer gets to show two deck lists, and yeah, that's how it works. So let me quickly write that down. Card. <laughs> <Board>. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to check that out for uh, the next stream. I can't do it right now, but... Uh, okay, good to know. Thanks, Julian. So I'm going to challenge you. Um, so let's see. I have to click the right deck, of course. There you go. You know, whenever we play stuff like Legacy Premier League or, or anything with custom challenges, I'm always so scared that I picked the wrong deck. Yeah, exactly. For me, for me, the same. It's I think it's the most <laughs> tense moment of the entire game, clicking the right buttons <laughs> when starting out. <laughs> Uh, do you know, I have to click on just for fun, just starting out, getting series or tournament practice. Is there a difference? Uh, it doesn't know. make a difference. Like, if, if you click on some of them, it's going to give players more time, but I think time is not going to be a concern. Probably not. I'm just going to click for just for fun, and then uh, we'll see how Yeah, it sounds good. So okay, I challenge you. So this is Should be F's. good. You don't want to play against Maverick, so here we go. I would want to play against Maverick, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I think I'm on the play, it seems to be. So um, I'm gonna discuss generally how I feel about my hand and what I think is going on. Uh, we can play as if mm -hmm. um, we know each other's deck lists. Um, we send it to each other before, for people in chat watching, they should notice. I know Julian's deck list, he knows mine, to have full information so we can make the best plays. And I'm going to keep or um, mulligan depending on my hand, as if I know that I'm playing against elves, basically. So this Sounds hand is good. fine. I'm going to keep this. Fine, huh? Can I beat fine? Mm, yeah. I'm going it, to keep this as well. <laughs> it's not excellent <laughs> or anything, but it is fine. So I'm just going to start off by fetching here, get a drop, and play. Ooh, that's a good card. That's a good elf right there. I can play First elf of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Nice to have that on the spot. So no one drop on your side. That's interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna play this. Oh, that's the card I feel the most in the matchup. Yeah, I I can understand. I'm just gonna slam in. Sure. I'm not gonna Let do me. something now because I know that Julian could potentially fetch, get a dry arbor. So if I would use pump spells before blocking, that would be uh, stupid. So I'm not going to. There's nothing from me. And then let's slam down this one. Sure. I mean, I, I know of course. I just no, did no a little bit of gold fishing earlier today. Like I was, I was watching a movie, and while doing so, I was gold fishing, and that mm -hmm. reminded me of how much I actually miss playing Paper Magic. Oh, for sure, man. Uh, I miss it so much. <laughs> and now with the weather becoming better in Europe, I already texted some of my friends like, "Hey, man, can we like, in the future, maybe start playing outside again?" And I'm already looking forward oh, to yeah. this. <laughs> for sure. Oh yeah, that would be sweet. Okay, so what else are we gonna do? Um, let's try this. <clears throat> hey, Callum. Callum's oh, we in... have Mr. Callum in the yeah, chat. Yeah, and he wants me to crush you. <laughs> I'm gonna try, Callum, but uh, no promises. <laughs> Callum is a connoisseur of fine vegan kebabs. I don't know if you've ever had a vegan kebab, but it's apparently the best food on earth. <laughs> uh, I have no opinion on this whatsoever. Uh, so that was not the best three cards in my library, unfortunately. Let's fetch here. So that means you just draw. The, oh, I guess you have to fetch lead. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get rid of the bad stuff. That's bad stuff in your deck. You're doing it wrong, man. Mm, yeah, exactly, man. I, I I honestly don't know why I play Civil Library online, because it always gives me shit cards. Honestly, <laughs> when, I, when I play in real life, if I have Civil Library, I'm like, yeah, man. It, it, just, it always seems broken, but online, it just always... Yeah. <laughs> so my guess is your Civil Library showed you like a second Civil Library and a Noble Hierarch or a list on elf and maybe a land oh, take, oh this card is also like annoying i take noble hierarch honestly but no <laughs> it wasn't that <laughs> it's even worse okay yeah, it's, uh, it was one card was fine and that was the blooded agent that you just saw slam come okay, down okay cool <clears throat> all right so okay, what is what's the play i Let's actually started legacy playing elf did you know that that was the first deck i actually uh, i think i mentioned no, but it no i do I think we, I discussed it in when I was the the guest on the podcast. I think we briefly discussed it, but I'm I don't remember for sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it is interesting. Usually in the past, Greens and Senior, you would just always let this resolve. But now with Alasaurus Shepherd, that card has really changed the matchup so much. I just have to counter this because Shepherd is a win condition on its own. And if you now have like natural order, I'm I'm screwed. But I just have yeah. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Sounds I'm screwed. Good. But Sounds I still good. I still have to do this. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just lose here. Yeah. This is just how it goes. Yeah, this is yeah. this is like over 30 damage. This should be 30. Oh no, this is a different kind of calculation. Okay, anyway, it's <laughs> enough. It's more than enough. So my civil I, I yeah. already had the berserk in hand. I needed to find a pump spell. Fortunately it was bladder agent and two lands. Uh and we would have found Teferi Brainstorm spell pierce, so not quite good enough. Unfortunately. A friend of mine is in chat, and he, when he's watching, he always says that he ruins my library draws. So I'm gonna blame it on on uh, Ma Matthias. <laughs> Matthias, go away. <laughs> uh, oh, that's right. how it works. Cool. <laughs> Sidewalk is fairly easy again uh, in this matchup here. I just want source of plowshares, and I want Fluster storm. That's it. I hate days. You're always gonna be able to pay for it anyway. So that's. Uh, something that I always get rid of. <laughs> and the fairy is too slow. So sideboarding on my Stop part is sorry. very easy. I do bring in Gravdigger's Cage because it shuts down so many of your cards. Mm -hmm. uh, Natural mm -hmm. Order and uh, Zenith. 
And then um, there are some stuff that I can consider. And I think what I'm going to take out is Snakeskin Veil. In this matchup, it's too slow. I'm trying out Snakeskin Veil right now as a one-off because um, Plague Engineer is... Not many good things about it. Yeah, Plague Engineer is just disgusting. And it's the most played creature, I think, right now in uh, in Legacy, honestly. I'm not sure, but um, I'm trying it out. I'm not convinced just yet, but I think it's definitely something that I want to see more of. Because I've won funny games yeah. with it where they resolve plague or they try to resolve plague engine in response. I just put a counter on my blood agents and they're dead. <laughs> That's quite funny. Something that I think, especially when you like when you get to really high levels and you want to win tournaments and stuff, having something that's instant speed and unexpected mm -hmm. usually is a great thing. Uh, like basically, you, you, every card has a certain value, a certain equity that, that you get out of it. And then there's cards that are slightly worse than what you could play in that slot, but if it's super unexpected, while still being a decent card, if you play, like, it, it can be the difference between winning or losing, like, uh, yeah. quote-unquote high-level match uh, against somebody, and Definitely. that's that's just, like, something I really appreciate in decks when they can do that. Definitely. Um, that's also something that, for example, crop rotation and F does. People usually don't expect crop rotation that much, especially when you can get something no. like, you know, Pendle Haven. I, I would never expect a crop rotation. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want to quickly talk about your signboarding or not. Oh, yeah, sure. So I'm basically I'm bringing in two DKs, two Assassin's Trophies, two Kaber Therapies, and I'm taking out three Viable Symbiotes and three Visionaries. I'd rather keep some more Visionaries and Viable Symbiotes, but it's going to depend on how the games play out. Um, against you post board mm -hmm. the thing is you're playing with white you, you you have a little bit more grindy potential you you're a little bit more reactive with sorts of plowshares and stuff you're not that aggressive anymore in which case like you know i i might actually want to go back and, and have a little bit more of the best friends team of the draw team mm -hmm. but i i still gotta figure that out for myself as well and there's not really much else i want to sideboard out sometimes i can sideboard out um for example some senates especially when i know that you have spell pierces in the main and i guess you only bring in one cage but that's something that i sometimes do that i like if, if, if i think the matchup is really tight mana wise and i think this is one of those matchups even though you take out days i guess i don't ch just don't know that um <laughs> i i don't hate taking out some senates uh -huh. um but yeah so you basically you bring in discard and decays that's it i, I was yeah, gonna ask, ask you or if you think that choke is worth it i honestly don't think so and i think you agree it's probably a bit too slow against me even though I yeah especially on the draw it's way yeah. too slow and even on the play i'm not a big fan of it like I, I would bring it in like if the sideboard mapping works out that way if i had like for example if, if i was playing the more experimentalist with the nissas then the nissas come out and then we could think about choke but even then it's it's yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not too big of a fan um, of choke against this deck like your deck is super low it's low to the ground you have noble hyrax you potentially have dazes and yeah, yeah exactly. your deck can operate well on like a forest and a noble hyrax exactly exactly um also for the people in chat let me know i think the volume should be fine of my voice and julian's voice but if, if someone is too loud or should be uh, increasing volume i can fix that in a couple of button clicks so let me know i'm gonna start here let's see if i get a better hand this is fine if we keep yeah, and it's not excellent but it's better than last hand <laughs> Uh, <laughs> maybe i should just i see <laughs> oh callum <laughs> oh, love it let's see what the start is zenith okay so i'm just going to present some threats here I'm going to use Tropical because uh, now Julian can't know whether or not I have, um, if I have access to swords with the Noble. It's a small detail, but, you know, make use of it. Yeah. Sounds good. Whoops. Oh, oh, I oh, damn. Uh, oh, damn. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> you can't hear this, right? Uh, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> what happened? Great. <laughs> what happened, Julian? <laughs> this happened to my voice. <laughs> and I need to go back. <laughs> I kind of like Tell it. Him. Maybe we can. Maybe... <laughs> you you can play for this for like a like minute or two. I don't, I don't mind. No, 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 no. Very good. Because I can hear myself when I do this, and I okay. don't want to hear myself as stuff right now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Here we go. Um. No, this, I, I I hate it when you have these these creatures. These creatures are just like the most annoying things in the world. The agent, but right? I guess we're gonna yeah. do it like this. 
Uh, okay, so easy mode is turned on. Haha, <laughs> easy game. <laughs> How does it work from here? So we get this one. We get this one. And Chase Alpha, thanks for the follow. Get... Cheers. Okay, since you need access to. Sure. It can't be Canada, so I can't respond to this. Well, I can respond to this, but I'm not gonna. Wait, well, you can mind back trap it. <laughs> exactly, but uh, you... <laughs> I don't have it in my sideboard. I've been there. So, but people may be wondering. No, I'm gonna. Okay. So people might have wondered why I didn't just F6. If I didn't have a play, I sometimes do this, but I. I could have done this, what I'm going to do right now, in response to Julian having, like, discard. And then I maybe wanted to hide some cards. Okay, so not the best brainstorm. Um, you could also have, um, what's it called? Uh, Sorts of Plowshares, because your Noble Herrick was untapped. So you could go, like, Sorts of Plowshares, Shepard, and then, you mm -hmm. know, counter something critical. That would be good. That would have been good. So I'm just going to <laughs> fetch again. I'm just digging for one card, honestly. Um, Berserk? No, that's not the one. Like. <laughs> uh, invigorate would be okay. Sweet, didn't I find it, so this is unfortunate. Two bad brainstorms. Um, oh, wow, this um, yikes. I think I think I'm dead. I mean, it's called the Master Series for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is just me. I'm gonna just gonna lose every single game and uh, show you guys what a real uh, <laughs> what a real good player looks like. That's why uh, that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm just gonna slam in because um, yeah. Hit me. I have to try. I'm gonna slam in for two. Feeling so infected now. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very dead. No. Okay, I'm gonna let it resolve. Stifle. <laughs> Wouldn't even matter. No, I'm just, just, just because I can. I'm just gonna. Gonna this should be Crater. something Crater. like 55 damage. <laughs> no, no, more. Because oh, I, I used Berserk oh now it's more. <laughs> now it's even more. <laughs> I was just digging for um, Scale Up or Invigorate or Become Immense. Basically any mm. pump spell, but uh, there were none, unfortunately. Okay, so um, I think what we showed here was um, pretty much exactly the game how it usually goes of Infect versus Elves, honestly. Um, I think I can start by, by um, saying how I feel about the matchup. Uh, now and in the past. Uh, in the past, I think Infect was hugely favored, honestly. Um, I think it was like something like 70% for Infect, 30 for Elves. And then they printed Allosaurus Shepherd, and that has really swung the matchup entirely around, where now I think it, it may be even slightly favored for, um, for Infect, uh, sorry, for Elves, honestly. It's such a... That card is just... Yeah, as I said, it's easy <laughs> mode because my main interaction is blue. It's all about, in the past, I always, if I had one force will in there and like one pump spell, I was like, yeah, sure, I'm going to win this one because I'm just going to count one spell like Natural Order or um, Glimpse of Nature. That would, that's usually good enough because um, you don't have that much interaction for me. But now with Allosaurus Shepherd, it shuts down my best interaction. And if I have a Swords, I just never use it for anything else anymore except for um, <laughs> the... Yeah, the Shepherd. That's how it feels to me right now. But what do you think, Julian? It's like a one-one attacking you on one life. Sorry, sorry, gotta save that for the Shepherd. I, I can't do <laughs> yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, the matchup. I it's it's not a, it's not as bad as something like Sneak Show because like all the Sneak Show decks, those are like re basically the burst matchup thrives. But Infect mm -hmm. was never something that when I faced it that I felt like oh okay this is this is gonna be okay. Like oh, when you told me you're gonna play against something else other than Infect, I would be happy because I don't yeah. hate it like I said, but uh, it's like you mentioned it certainly or at least used to be in favor of Infect and. Uh, Adosaro Shepard, I think we've actually seen that in both games, right? Yeah, it, exactly. it really swings things around it. It makes it even more like, you know, two ships passing in the night a little bit like that, because now Elves gets to do what, what it wants. And in fact, mostly got to do what it wants. Like, there's abrupt decays, but like your most important creature to me, which is Blink Moth, Ink Moth Nexus, I can't even touch with it. Yeah. So it's. The, the, the Glistener Elf has rarely ever been like relevant to me um but uh, except for like you know crazy berserk turns but your your ink moth nexus uh is, is the worst threat for me by far and blighted agents is also quite annoying because you don't always have to decay and yeah then then they just get there so yeah, exactly this matchup is i a don't feel comfortable in the matchup no and i and in the past i always felt comfortable but not anymore and for me this matchup is all about can i keep alasaurus shepherd off the table 
um, by having swords in my hand. If not, it's just you saw me using my my uh, my cantrips very aggressively. It's it's just a, it's I have to win as fast as possible. Where in the past I could just navigate a bit more safely, you know, try and play around the brap decay. But with Shepard, that's no longer the case because I, because I can die every single turn now, and that has yeah. Now I have to make more risky plays. Where in the past that wasn't always true. Um, that's at least how it feels to me. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna have games like this all time. Um, these games don't tend to go <laughs> long, uh, and it's gonna be. Uh, I don't want to say who has the best opening hand usually wins, but it does feel that you that the, the opening hand is very decisive in this matchup. Um, I believe, but uh, maybe you. I guess it's time for you to splash black and also play Plague Engineer. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you name Alf. Maybe, maybe I should. Easy game. <laughs> maybe I should. <laughs> I mean, there's even black infect creatures. There's there's like uh, Phyrexian Crusader man. Yeah, it's it's funny because in modern I do play modern, and there I always play um, green black uh, infect. Uh, so I, I'm experienced with that, and I'm actually brewing up. Uh, I have it over here. People who are watching my stream, they can see Legacy Golgari Infect. It's not ready just yet, but I'm having a brew up soon. So yeah, it's funny that you mention it because uh, I'm preparing this. Um, but it's not quite there just yet. But in modern, I think it's actually even better than blue green Infect, if you ask me. But uh, I'm probably one of the only ones who thinks this. But uh, only ever played blue green in the GP once. That was mm -hmm. GP Copenhagen 2015. I borrowed it from my friend Mark. Oh, yeah. And. I, I didn't do very well in the GP, I just randomly picked it up, but my, my fondest memory of that event was I played against a guy on on Mill, and he milled me really hard, and I think I killed him like on the second or third turn with like double become immense, and I was like, oh sweet. <laughs> <laughs> double become immense, yeah, that's that's your own fault, I'd say. <laughs> you deserve that one. <laughs> like, uh, sure, hit me, hit me, yeah, feed exactly, me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, maybe we can talk about elves right now. Um, so. Talk a bit about the deck and how the meta has swapped. And uh, yeah, this series couldn't have come better. The, 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 the couple of days after the bannings, uh, I started the first one right here. So that was like perfect. What do you think about Elves right now? And uh, maybe you can just discuss um, a few moments about how you felt when Infect was, uh, sorry, when how Elves was when Dread Horde was still around or the other ones. Um, yeah, let yeah. me know. Yeah, I think this, uh, I, I talked about it earlier um, on our podcast that's coming out tomorrow i want to say mm. um mm -hmm. so sneak preview to that <laughs> check out everyday channel we or at least i think that elves has a good shot at being one of the you know very very top decks in the format right now i can't tell you which one which deck is actually going to be the best deck in legacy because that's always like yeah whatever but when in speaking of stuff like the top three decks certainly in the top five decks at least that's that has been my impression thus far and i think it's in a really really good spot because what elves always used to do right was this thing you you can take a little bit of damage early and then as you untap for your third turn you explode you run out so many one mana things that the opponent needs to counter and now you even have something that can't even be countered and you, you put especially like mid-range and control decks into really tough spots and mm -hmm. the normal decks they struggle quite a lot and that's just what i have stars then that's the diver matchup which is always kind of like not nearly as good as people would make you believe like i i know that some people in legacy they they like to paint things like black and white and they're like oh yeah Dava, that's really good for us it's just like, like bullshit but <laughs> it's it's certainly yeah. not bad it's like usually quite even um if Dava comes prepared it's even like it depends on the Dava, even in favor of Dava sometimes if I've kind of spread, like it's let's say it's a swingy matchup depending on how you build your decks but on average I, I don't mind it too much and now you're in a position where you have a deck that's okay against Dava, that's really good against anything controllish and that's really good against anything mid-range mm -hmm. and then there's not too much left there's the combo decks and those have been a problem like depending on which kind of combo deck uh doomsday especially is really hard for elves yeah, and yeah this is yeah this is where we are with elves right now it's going to depend a lot on how you know combo shakes up it's going to depend a lot on how uh sneak and show shakes up too and also like which Dava variants are going to be the most predominant how fast Dava is going to be whether it's going to like become more like of a mid-range war and yeah this this is gonna influence a lot of what we're gonna be doing with elves for the list i submitted tonight i tried to pick probably one of the most generic things i could pick uh the only spicy thing but i guess by now that's not even spicy anymore is the arcan of raiders reach which i put back into the deck just because i feel like with the results of the weekend doomsday and uh, nauseam tendrils they seem to be somewhat coming back 
and I don't mind having having the Archon on the main deck. It also covers a little bit um, of our bases against any kind of like you know f um, artifact related decks that there's mm -hmm. a bunch of those showing up again. Yeah, and I actually want to yeah, ask you a question about this, Julian, if I may, because I see that you're playing yeah. white, and I, I've noticed that if elves are, are playing white, they all they usually play the the one mana enchantment that says you can only play one spell each turn to deal with combo decks. I don't remember the name. Oh, is it uh, Deafening Silence? Is that the one? I yeah, think so. that's the name. Um, but I guess if you say if you say it's common for us to do that, that's already pushing they, it. But if yeah. they splash white, if they splash white, that is. Yeah, I know, but even if they splash white, it's not exactly common. Oh, okay. But it's, okay. It's a thing you can do. Mm -hmm. But you're you're not a big fan of it. No, I love the card. I love <laughs> the card. And, and my okay. Maverick, in my Maverick list, I play like three in the sideboard. Uh huh. Okay, great. Uh, would I you think consider it's just like too it? narrow for Fs? Yeah, okay. but I, I would consider it. It's just like way too narrow because you you, you always gotta overlap your sideboard cards, especially mm -hmm. like with elves more than with most other decks I play. Those those cards gotta cover different bases, and when you play against um, co control decks, then Devonic Silence is, isn't really gonna do anything for you, but yeah. your yeah. discard is gonna be a big thing. And I'm on record saying how much I hate the concept of discard. Like I hate being the guy who plays discard. <laughs> it's just like the thing you. I've tried many things, like basically every trick in the book. Uh, I've tried to go without this card. Actually, <laughs> the one time I, I went without this card, I actually won the MKM. <laughs> I played my back trap and I, I played like Belcher nice. in, in the semifinals or something. I, mul I mulled down to five. I kept the my back trap and got there. I went to the finals. <laughs> but yeah. Nice. Uh, Who needs this card anyway? Yeah, overall, this card is the most flexible thing, and since we're not really sure what's going on in the metagame right now, and the decks that they might expect to be there, which are Doomsday mm -hmm. and um, any kind of like show and tell variants, the, in those matchups, it's much, much better to have this card than to have, you know, any of the more fancier stuff yeah, like yeah, Deafening yeah. Silence and so. So that's why I'm not running those. Uh, I, I, I've done stuff like running Thalia in the sideboard of Elves, even, but oh, wow, yeah, that's okay. th 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 now that's really spicy. Wow. Okay. Good information. Yeah. Um, yeah. I. I, uh, I. I totally agree with uh, the stuff that you're saying here. Very interesting. Um, for people in chat, hello. Welcome everyone for joining. I won't be able to interact with you as much as I usually would do, but I love having you here. And if you have any questions for me or for Julian, just let me know. I'm gonna as soon as I, f I see a question, I'm gonna pop it up right there. Um, yeah. Maybe we can play another game, Julian. If uh, if you're sure. if you're fine with that. Maybe I. I want to challenge I wanna, me. I'd like to win one game at least. Every single guest uh, that I've had so far, which are two, <laughs> but they have all been. <laughs> crushing me it's uh, it's ridiculous um let's see i'm gonna challenge you again uh so same thing i have to click the correct deck of course uh, so here it is format okay so i challenged you to second end geo kimiffin and schlumpfim sumpf wow those names awesome thank you all for the follows cheers appreciate it dude schlumpf im sumpf is the best name it's the best name I've ever seen on. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's German. It means you can Smurf probably... in the swamp. You can pronounce it better than me, that's for sure. <laughs> Unicorn Lord MG makes a good remark. Seems like Germans are your nemesis. Yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose every game to a German, and then all the other ones I'm gonna win. That's that's the idea here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna let you start for a change, maybe if that's fine. So I'm just gonna say no. Okay, sure. You. No, we, we can just like take turns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So my hand okay, is. So um, it's just gonna be. That is interesting again. It has potential, but I don't think I can keep this. Since I know, <laughs> it, since I know that I'm playing against elves, if I was playing in the dark, I probably would keep this. But well, if I know I'm playing against elves, this is a uh, like my hand it's like is seven spells. I'll it just has tell you what it is. It's, it's, it's uh, a tropical misty ink moth. Then we have agent elf force days. It's fine, but it's too slow. It's not know? horrible. It's not exactly. It's not horrible, but I mean, I don't have any pump spells, so I think it's just too slow in this <laughs> matchup. I'm gonna you like pump spells, huh? Yeah, I, I love it. Um, so let's actually. Are we, am I gonna send this away? I, I did. I did put pump spells in my deck, right? Did I forget to put them in? <laughs> uh, this is a keep. I don't want a mulligan to five. Uh, it's it's okay. Famous last words. <laughs> So I'm gonna start by playing my second best one drop. Oh, is that your second best one drop? My second best. <laughs> this this realm is probably my my best. Is it really though? Depends Sometimes on the matchup, I feel more I scared when, when Yeah, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. Depends true. on the matchup, I guess. That mm -hmm. is true. Mm -hmm. 
I was playing against squad. Moon Stompy, I would for sure love Noble better than Oh now. yeah. That's scary. Honestly, I think that's the worst matchup for Infect, Moon Stompy, and it's it's on the rise. Uh, do you have somebody in your in your master series who is playing Moon Stompy? Honestly, not yet, because when I when I started creating Moon Stompy, that was when uh, Dreadhorde was illegal, and then Moon Stompy was no longer a deck. So uh, maybe I should add. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I should add it again. Uh, <laughs> definitely didn't didn't consider that deck anymore, but it's back for sure. So yeah, good idea. Okay, so what's the play here? <laughs> We've got four cards in hand. Unicorn Lord MTG and E Girls und Tier. Thanks for the follows. Cheers. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna win this. Yeah, turn three, so this is a, this is the turn usually. It's, it's what we're gonna do. Please I do not play yes So that was um, for zero, right? Yeah. I wanted to draw Shepard and then just mm. like cast it, but if it's a zero, I'm just gonna say way. okay. I'm just gonna let it slide. Um, yeah, this blows, but I have to. Wait, spare PS? I can pay for that. Yeah, I know, but at least you have to tap your creature. Yeah, and I was not winning this turn then. Or actually, I, I think I deal exactly lethal, but let's figure this out. Like my gut feeling is I'm dealing twenty, but I, you know, this is <laughs> math. This is not what legacy is about. Yeah. Math. This is not why we. Well, I, I know those stuff like by <laughs> by heart, kinda. So this should be twenty. This is like what is this? Eleven and nine. Yeah, this is twenty, and you have one blocker. Uh, I can still win. Yeah, I, I mean, if you have invigorate, right? Yeah, I need to get a bit lucky. I need to have a good brainstorm. Um, but I'm gonna get rid of this one. <clears throat> so now. I need to be like nice. super lucky here. Okay, I didn't find a brainstorm. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> it makes it Two, slightly three, harder. It makes it slightly harder indeed. But I can um, can buy myself some okay, time. Okay, now it's impossible, from what I know. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Of course, I do not. So I'm just gonna pretend like I don't know that I'm dead. So I'm just gonna sure. turn in, because if I am super lucky, I could still win. And if Julian has nothing. Does your stream have a sponsor? My stream having a sponsor? Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm I'm a I'm so so I'm a scrub so nobody wants to sponsor me. If you want to sponsor because me, because RBS is asking for today's beer and I think you should get some kind of beer company to sponsor you. That would be an excellent deal for me. You know? <laughs> if I get sponsored by a beer company, that would be like the perfect. Today's beer is um, Castel beer, but not Castel Rouge as uh, last time. I have a uh, Castel Brown right now. For people interested. Okay, I'm just very dead, but I'm gonna. Let it play it out. Did you mulligan to five, hmm. by the way, or was this a mulligan to six? Uh, I think it was a mulligan to five, but uh, to six, but it was really bad. It okay. was really bad. So here we go for this. And yeah, that that's. Uh, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Did you know I actually won through an Arco Vela naming instant once? I guess you can. I don't remember whether scale up or um, yeah, is scale up a sorcery. Is a sorcery. It be. <laughs> it's usually a downside, yeah. but <laughs> that was a very hilarious, <laughs> hilarious game. Okay, so I'm dead. Unfortunate. Yeah, my keep was a fetch land, a Gaia's mm -hmm. Cradle, two Nettle Sentinels, and two Natural Orders, and I send a crowd off to the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. So I already explained sideboarding. So I'm gonna do the same again. Bye bye yeah, I to think ferry. I'm gonna do the same as well. Bye bye to ferry. Bye bye days. And then cut down on one snakeskin veil. Although honestly, maybe I'm playing two civil libraries main. Maybe I should trim down one because it's, I think it's a bit too slow. I find, I'm fine with playing one, but maybe and maybe mm. two civil libraries mm -hmm. a bit too much. And with all the removal, maybe one snakeskin is fine. I could also play veil of summer. I mean, that's even better. One veil of summer. Veil would actually be quite annoying for me. Mm -hmm. I think that's maybe maybe that's better. Yeah, I'm gonna try it like this. Let's submit. Good. If the snakeskin veil was still a vines, I wouldn't do this because vines gives plus four, uh, which is a huge difference. 
That's true, that's true. Oh, and you're not bringing in great saber stack, man. Isn't that the card that's supposed <laughs> to fix basically every matchup? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, unfortunately not against elves. <laughs> Unless you have black elves or blue elves in there. <laughs> wow, this hand is... I remember when it was printed, it was supposed to be to um, bring balance to the force, but it didn't really. really. Okay, it was there, because uh, when I started playing the stag when uh, um, Grixis Control was like the best deck in the format. And mm. uh, it was... In the beginning, I started playing it as a joke. But then it turned out that it was awesome, and uh, every <laughs> as soon as I find a moment when I can play it again, I just slam it in my deck straight away. It's like my my, my favorite. Yeah, the only elk left in Legacy. <laughs> so my hand is horrible, honestly. I have triple tropical, double ink moth, double blighted agent. So I may have boarded out my pump spells. That's how it seems. Yeah. Gonna mulligan. My hand is pretty horrible as well, but I I am confident that that I can draw <laughs> what I need. <laughs> okay, uh, this hand is pretty bad too. But I have a brainstorm, so I'm gonna keep because if I'm lucky, well, they're not. I mean, I, I play brainstorm for a reason, so I don't want to mulligan to five. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this, and then I'm hoping to shuffle away some bad cards. That's good. Okay, here we go. You're not playing wasteland, right? Okay, that's actually no. I nice. um, cut it from the deck. I'm not the biggest fan of wasteland anymore. Basically, we got the same opening. I'm on the dark side with a bayou. You're on the on the mage side, on the intelligent side. I guess that's <laughs> what blue represents. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so not the best brainstorm, but at least I get to slow you down. So I think it's fine. Um, okay. Hit me. So I'm going to play this and see if that's good enough. Oh. And I have these Well, oh, that's left. supposed to slow me down, apparently. Okay. <laughs> yeah, unless you have glimpse. <laughs> Uh, I wish, I wish. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Am I even supposed to attack here? Um, I'm just gonna pass. Okay, that's a good roll. Gonna play it. Uh huh. So not having any threats is um, scary for me for sure. But I have this card in hand, so. Hmm. Yeah. Probably veil or I, something. I really need this. If I had veil, that would be amazing. <laughs> I'm going to play it like that because I really want to have this left. Okay, it's yeah, risky because now I can't play this, but I mean, I have to try. Okay. So let's see if we are dead. Probably not. Probably oh, not. I drew well. I do pretty well. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I, I drew Never really mind. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is looking pretty good. I, I I might not win this turn, but I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in a decent position, I guess. If you got nothing. I mean, that's not much you can have anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. True. <coughs> yeah. This one down. I'm not used to there being no music for my glimpse chain. Oh, right. If you want, I can turn on music. I, I put on Baby Shark for Mark as well, so if you want, I can turn on music for you. Well, what do you want to hear? Uh, let me check. This is fun. Okay, let's just do this. I don't know if you've realized this, but your voice has changed again, Julian. You sound like a schoolgirl right no, now. No, this is this is called reverse puberty. <laughs> 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 no, it should be better again. So unfortunately, the Wirewood symbiote is very good here. Oh, these library triggers, um, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, these, <laughs> these are going to go. These are going to go back. And I'm just going to pause the turn. Already? Okay. Um, but you have a fetch land, so you don't need to draw anything you don't really want to draw. Exactly. Okay, that's see how this is going to work out. That's the silver lining. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to just gonna do this. Is this good enough? Probably. Hey, Colossus Rex yeah. in chat. I'm doing fine. How are you? Ooh. Hmm. That's a big one. So, this is funny because I can do this. I couldn't do this on an elf. Uh, <laughs> because, because of the symbiote. So, I actually survive here. I don't think I'm going to win. Uh, I'm not sure you survive. Oh, right. You have trample. Yeah, never mind. I'm dead. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like 22 damage or something. Yeah, exactly. At least I was able to get rid of it. I berserked it last time, I sorted <laughs> it now. <laughs> so my library yeah, trigger... Sometimes you sort it too late. Sometimes like people let the trigger resolve and then they sort it. It's like, yeah, yeah that's, that's not how it works. I mean, you can, you can, and I probably wouldn't care because I play Infect, but uh, you, sh you shouldn't, unless you're playing Infect, that's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, took another beating. What can I say? My Civil Library was, uh, the last one was three lands. Okay, that's pretty bad. That's <laughs> yeah, really pretty bad. <laughs> exactly. Again, why do I play Civil Library on Magic Online? It's supposed to be a good card, but... <laughs> Maybe you should just like actually substitute it for good cards. Maybe, um, yeah. like, has your deck ever played uh, Alessara Shepard? Probably not, right? You Like, your green stuff being uncountable isn't that I actually important. Have, I guess the pumps press help. I actually have uh, tried it, Alessara Shepard, and it was quite good. I was surprised by it. Um, and it depends on the meta. Um, if there is a lot of uh, counter magic um, like everywhere, then it is very good. And I have considered about playing it again. But I think if I would want to play it, I would have to play Zenith um, again. Uh -huh. um, and I think if I ever would want another Infect Zenith build, I would want a build which also plays Dryad Arbor, then maybe play um, Sylvan Safekeeper again in the sideboard. I've played that <laughs> from time to time as well. But then I think I'm just adapting my deck too much. So what I think it's good, I think I just like Veda Summer um, better, because that's just such yep. an efficient card in our deck. It's 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 disgusting. I feel like the card was almost made for Infect. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really, it's, it's disgusting. It if I'm playing against Grixis Control and I have Veda Summer opening hand, I'm like, yeah, suddenly this is a good matchup. I just turn well, my first turn. I always do nothing. <laughs> it's so efficient. Now it's time to bring back Grixis Control. Thus yeah. far, we've seen Espa Control, we've seen like Blue White Red Miracles, we've seen some Grixis Control mm -hmm. in the most recent challenge. So, yeah, that, that, yeah. I, I guess that deck would be a really interesting matchup for. Like, I, I'd love to watch some Grixis Control versus Infect Action. For sure. It's very interesting. It's a very difficult matchup for Infect. I've played against it three times and I lost all of them. Uh, but then I started playing Stag again, specifically for the matchup. So, yeah, I really want to play it. <laughs> this is just like how Legacy works. I added one card to my deck and yeah. it turns around the matchup. It's so hilariously good. <laughs> Good. I love Great Sable Stack, and in every tournament, if I, for me, the best thing you can have in a tournament is when you play a card and your opponent like, what is this, and they have to read a card. That's go accomplished for me personally. That's that's great. Oh, is that how it works? Is, is Legacy so old that people don't remember? Yeah, exactly. Great Equalizer, great you win stack. Legacy once you find a card that people have to read. <laughs> that's that's how oh. you how you win. <laughs> That's interesting because Great Saber Stack was like a big, big, big name in Standard. It was like the, the card that was supposed oh, okay. to bring balance to fairies. But oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a couple of questions from the chat. Uh, let's see. How are you doing? I'm getting crushed, Johan, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. And I mean, there's says, enough variance in the matchup that you eventually are going to take one, for sure. I thought that against Mark as well. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's play another game if you want. Sure, hit me. Because, again, and I've, I've had this question before on chat. How do you sometimes stay uh, energized even though you're losing? Because keep in mind, it's just still a game. And especially with these games, if you're playing against friends, it really doesn't matter if you lose. It's all about having fun. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's something that we all have to keep in mind. Always have fun when you're playing Magic. And find a deck that you enjoy. It's, I think it's more important to find a deck that you enjoy playing than finding the best deck of the format if that's making sense that's my approach at least but maybe i'm wrong i don't know hey, so you just made me start so now i'm gonna make you start again right i just okay. want the would you nice. like to play first no okay so we just take turns going first okay that's nice let's see uh, but Tosai asked me if i'm gonna play jeff Lin at some point no spoilers but uh, maybe maybe i'm gonna i'm gonna launch <laughs> some new names soon but uh, no spoilers <laughs> oh volume um, two season two <laughs> that would be sweet. <laughs> You're going to make this a year-long series. The, the, wow. the quest for the first match run. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I'm not going to stream anymore. I'm just going to do this all time. <laughs> uh, Quit your job. A, I, I need keep. to get that win. Yeah, <laughs> sure. exactly. I'm this gonna is keep the on most confident this. keep I've seen all series. Um, that's true. It's still not amazing, but it's it's. this is a good hand. I can't say it otherwise. It's a good hand. Yeah. And I actually, I do have a turn one play, which usually means I'm in a bad position, apparently. Like, I, I won all the games where I didn't have a turn one play. Yeah. And usually when I see not a turn one from Elves, I'm like, okay, this is a good hand. Uh, or this is a good, yeah, game, a good it, game, but uh, maybe not. If you don't have a turn one play in Elves pre-board, it... That's like an indication of a very, very special hand. It usually means like fetch land plus cradle and then a bunch of payoff. That's <laughs> yeah. what it usually means. Exactly. Uh, okay, so what's, what's the play here? I 
guess we go for... Actually, I might have... Oh, and I can win this turn, actually. Hmm. Bad. Da, 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 da. What are we going to do? Am I just going to be greedy? Nah. Okay, so I'm going to hit you for the mighty two. Ouch. Ba -ba -bam. I'm not going to block. This matchup is so much more complicated now that uh, because I know it's pre bought post uh -huh. I would have like played this entirely differently. Oh really? That's it. Uh, maybe after the match you yeah. tell me what I would have done because that's very interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, post board I would have just like <clears throat> super hard champed into days, but okay, pre board yeah, sure. I, I can't really do that here. So this is a good top deck. So I'm just gonna brainstorm anyway first. We'll see anyway, as in I already got the win. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Spoilers! <laughs> yeah, I already had the win, but I want to have protection. Even though you don't have one main deck, uh, I just... my It doesn't hurt, right? Playing it safely, I always yeah. enjoy Because you never know, some people like to play fringe cards, etc. They can always have something, and just... If you can, there's no, no downside in looking for uh, protection and playing it even more safe. There's another reason why I should probably play Moments, Peace, and Elves. Moments piece against Dark Depth, against Infect, against the Mirror. Like, we're what? slowly getting there. What's that card? Moments piece? I've never heard Moments of that. Moments piece is a Fog, and then Flashback Fog again. Oh, okay. So the, That's... The, to cast it, it's like two mana, and to Flashback, it's three mana. Oh, hilarious. I've never heard about that. card used to be card. somewhat of a thing in Legacy 11 years ago in, in the Truffle Shuffle deck, but uh, it's, yeah, it's not really a thing anymore. But it, okay. it, it's actually surprisingly close to still being a thing again. That's funny. I actually never heard of this. It's also funny, I just realized your deck can't beat Dawn Strider game one. <laughs> That's also another no, card no, that no, I'm no, sometimes no. considering. <laughs> but you can play Mira. You can play Mira if you want to hate on Infect. <laughs> 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 Did you know that in Belgium, because Belgium doesn't have the biggest Actually, legacy com yeah, um, doesn't have the biggest legacy community, although it's bigger than modern, which is amazing. Um, because I'm I'm of course I'm I'm um, um, probably one of the, the bigger names in Belgium uh, and uh, I top eight occasionally. Um, in in Belgium, that people recognized me, and they actually one of my opponents. He just played Mira specifically for me, <laughs> not even for Infect in general, but for me, because he knows that he will in a tournament he will face me. And this is something that I find interesting. Where if you have like this is like a meta call, but specifically for a tournament, <laughs> and that's <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, that's how it worked for me at local tournaments. Yeah. Like I played against people playing like Engineer Plagues and everything, Parish, what have you. Yeah, exactly. And, that's, yeah. that's hilarious. I, I remember I once showed up to a tournament in uh, in Austria, in Linz, mm -hmm. and Philipp Schöniger was there as well. And he was in Mirkus and I was in Elves. And just like right before the tournament, we just switched decks and I played <laughs> uh, Mirkus and he played Elves. So I sit down and <laughs> on the very first round, my opponent goes Dark Ritual and to Bayona, Axtium, Name Green. I'm like, okay, sweet, untapped sorts of plowshares. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing that really is amazing <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he, I, like he turns around and in the thickest uh, Austrian accent he tells his friend dude you told me he always plays elves <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's amazing that's amazing um yeah, that, that's quite funny. Yeah, people, when, when they see me, they always assume I'm an infect. And it's always true, you know. I, I actually have miracles, and I do play it from time to time with friends. But uh, then, I, then I'm like, I'm going to a tournament. I want to perform the best. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to pick up infect anyway. So <laughs> why do I even keep the deck? <laughs> I always said that, yeah, one day, one day, I'm going to play miracles on a tournament. But it never happens. It just never happens. But maybe, maybe one day, <laughs> one, <laughs> one day I'll do this. Um, oh, yeah, but the last game, you by the way. just like play Belcher or something. Well, that would be like... I, I kind of want to play the deck that's the farthest away from Infect, and I think Miracles is close. Uh, that's why I, I, I have that deck. Uh, just play funny. Solidarity. That could also be a thing, that's for sure. That's for sure. Or just <laughs> Moon Stompy. <laughs> that would also be funny. <laughs> uh, so, uh, last game, by the way, I um, I started my hand with uh, the Invigorate in hand, and I just drew the Become Immense, and then I, then I brainstormed into Vines, so I had everything. Even if you had, like, a Fringe, Fatal Push, or whatever in your sideboard, uh, in your main deck, I would have still... Did, did you have, like, Forces or Dazes? Like, I, I uh, had no, a potential no, turn three win. No, I didn't have, so I was like... But I was like, I know that Elves, it, it can win turn two, but it's unusual, so that's why I'm, I was happy with uh, the, yeah. the opening hand. Yeah. This opening hand is pretty hilarious, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's, it's going to be a keep, but it's <laughs> uh, it's pretty hilarious. Okay. Probably like four, I don't know, four glistener Fs or something. Oh, nothing. Okay. Just nothing. 
Oh god, it's just gonna be such a pleasure. Oh no, fuck my life. Oh. Oh, there's probably like multiple sorts of plowshares. Okay, fuck my knife. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna keep doing this uh. then. This is not how the matchup should go. <laughs> 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 this is not how it should go for sure. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ponder. I think I've honestly never ever before played against. Um, Elves, where I did not see if they didn't have something turn one, I always see something turn two. So this is. Uh, oh, I've I've done like land go land go land go land go a couple of times with elves. Like, but not I remember, against infect, right? Uh, I I don't get to play against infect all that much, so I can't really say. That's true. That's true. Hey, you shuffled, huh? Yeah, I did shuffle. Get rid of them. Okay. I'm gonna grow a couple of dryads here. Johan says your opponent is sniping, Julian. I I didn't. Yeah, we're, I didn't we're, we're think. playing for the total price of <laughs> two thousand euros. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I should have mentioned it before, but this is high stakes uh, magic right here. Well, you told me I, I was going to be the only guy to actually get paid, and the other ones uh, they, they're going to be screwed. Julian, I I, I thought we would keep that a secret. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Okay, easy mode turned on. Easy game, easy life. Here we go. <laughs> and yeah, let's get this one down. And now we're gonna see how it's gonna work. Am I dead again? Oh, that doesn't look good for me. Fortunately, you're not dead. Fortunately. I like the artwork on this though. Of the ink, ink moth nexus. Yeah. It's funny because I'm it's very actually much like. <laughs> Mark asked me the same yeah. question. Uh, and I just buy the cheapest cards of everything, <laughs> and this is the cheapest ink moth nexus. <laughs> it's oh, weird, it? right? Okay, didn't yeah, know. I didn't, ex I didn't expect didn't this myself, but uh, yeah, it's the cheapest one. So yeah. Okay, no white mana. That looks good. Actually, oh, this is this is basically the same. I can just do it like this. Is this lethal? Yeah, yeah, very much. Okay. Yeah, I can just untap. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just gonna show you my hand. Hit me. Yeah. You have to kill me first. So <laughs> this was my hand, and I actually drew the invigorate and the blooded agent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I was actually pretty close to dying there, I guess. Yeah, exactly. But I, but I didn't want. Uh, I really like not playing the invigorates unless you have to, because your opponent. Um, I didn't do anything, so it seems like I have a weak hand. And I don't want my opponents to know that they are going to be dead next turn. If I had like mm -hmm. slammed double invigorate, and you want to play it safe, it's it's a small thing, but uh, it's it's relevant sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I actually had the through. the trophy here, which is kind of funny because all the sorrow shepherd also protects the trophy. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. True. True. That's true. That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, that's really disgusting. it's kind of like build your own abrupt decay. Yeah. Exactly. I, I didn't consider this, but yeah, it's true. It's true. At least I've finally won my first game in this series, so yeah, at least I'm able to win every once in a while. <laughs> Wasn't this a game where I started out with like turn zero, nothing, go again? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's turn, <laughs> turn three, turn three, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, now this hand. Oh, dude. I have no land, so I have to mulligan. Like if I, I have no land here, but if I drew a land, I could go absolutely bonkers on turn three. Like I have double Nettle Sentinel, <laughs> Heritage Druid, Adosaurus, uh, Shepherd, double Ooh. Quarian Ranger, and the Crowd of Beermoth. So I guess That's I'm risky. still screwed if you have like Swords of Plowshares and Force. But yeah, I'm not going to keep that. No, I think if you would oh like, if that was a mulligan to six or five, then maybe. But I don't think if, if it's your first, then you probably don't keep this. <laughs> so I'm going to keep, but it's, it's interesting. Just... What do I put on the bottom? Oh, you uh, might get to six as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I went to six as well. I think it's going to be this one because it relies uh, something alongside it to work. Uh, so I'm just going to put this one on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to go to five. Okay, so this is keep <laughs> it well. This is actually going to be interesting. I don't know how this is going to work out. Uh, okay, um, Mulligan to five. That's hmm. scary. I mean, for you, that's yeah, not, yeah, not yeah. good. Then put this into place. For everyone watching the stream, by the way, thank you all for being here. So many viewers, that's great. If you're enjoying this, click follow, smash the subscribe if you want to support me even more. Uh, I'm glad to have you all, all here, guys. Remember, if you have any questions, spam them in the chat. Are you going to keep five, Julian? Or... Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. just going to figure out what else. I think I, I have that's to cool. do it like this. Okay, hit me. 
Mm. Have you ever killed on the first turn? Uh, no, actually, I haven't. Then you haven't played enough. <laughs> <laughs> have you? Yes, I, I have really? five, but with yeah, house? it's it, How? it requires a particular sequence. I, I actually, I think I might even have it on my Twitch as a highlight, but I'm not sure. Uh, basically, it involves your opponent casting show and tell on the first turn, and then you put it like Lano Elves into play, and then you untap and you kill them with Glimpse. <laughs> that is amazing. That really is amazing. Uh, hey, Simon. Okay, I'm wondering what you're going to name. Always Blood Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay, so you get Brainstorm <laughs> plus Storm Swords. Yeah. Okay. That's a like good if you one. had gone Glistener Elf, I would have probably not done that. Um, but if you if you like yeah. keep and you don't have like the Glistener Elf, then I'm gonna apply the agent because I can't name Ink Moth Nexus, so might as well try. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, definitely this one goes. But then, uh, I really have to go for this now. Or I could also wait a turn. Maybe that's maybe that's actually better. Just wait a turn, and then just. Yeah, because I, mm, I think I want to keep all of these, <laughs> honestly. You want to keep all of these? I'm going to call it Chach. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I didn't say I was going to. Uh, yeah, let, right, let me can put try. Him, <laughs> let me put them like this. And just do this and pass. Okay. Oh, wow. I got it all. Mm, I got it all. I don't know where to start. Let's try this first. Okay, that resolves. And this is pretty good. Now I'm a bit afraid. Yeah, you should be. I'm and I'm absolutely in control. Uh, it's, just, it's basically over. GG. <laughs> okay, well played. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> okay, sure. Show uh, me what you got. Uh, do I really want to fight over this? This is. I I don't think so, honestly. I think I just want to say okay. Okay. In that case, Mrs. Heritage Druid is going to come down. Okay, that's also fine. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> mind games, mind games. Uh, I think I'm just going to play uh, Mrs. Agent. Probably Mr. Agent, honestly. He has mm. four, ar four arms, by the way. Did you, did you see? Uh, wait, it has four arms, really? It has four arms. Oh, it does. Oh, wait, no, it's actually, it looks more like three arms, like one arm on the back and two on the side. <laughs> yeah, maybe he doesn't have a left arm. <laughs> I don't know. At least three. Let's, three let's, let's, let's leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what, what is my play here? Uh, so I can, like, do this and that and uh, do that. I don't even know. <laughs> um, so I know only one card Can I actually attack hand, here? So... I can uh, probably attack here. Yeah, I'm probably never going to block with Blooded Agent. Unless I have like crop rotation for Penhaven, but you know I don't play it, so. <laughs> Wait, okay. you're not fetching? What's nope. going on here? Yeah, I, I, I said I wanted them all, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep them all. <laughs> oh damn, that's scary. Um... Quick zero zero, awesome name. Thanks for the follow. Cheers, appreciate it. Biardondo, you as well. Thanks for the follow. Cheers. Assassin's Trophy. I hate doing that. Me now too. I can get screwed by wines. Kind of hate that too. I, I was so expect. I was like very much expecting you to fetch, and then in response to the fetch of an Assassin's Trophy, because usually I want to do it on my turn, but I figured I get better odds of, of making it work if I do it on your upkeep while you fetch. But okay, then so you I'm didn't fetch at all. I'm gonna have to do some weird stuff, but I'm gonna be able to prevent this from happening. But I'm f so I'm gonna brainstorm first. Yeah, that that does, that's good enough. Okay, that makes it okay. That makes storm. it easier. That was that. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> that makes it easier. So I don't want this. Um, does it make it easier though? I can. What I'm thinking about is doing this, upping this, and then I can just do this to get rid of it. But then I have that's to good. fetch, uh, <laughs> and I don't want to fetch. Hmm. Honestly, All I think good I cards. To... I can also. I can also just play this. That's that because I'm going to draw this. That's probably the best thing. I'm I'm trying to explain this cryptically, <laughs> best as I can. Uh, mm, but probably I should 
Yeah, I, I should do this. Just so Probably involves bit. something like invigorate. No, I have vines. Ooh, fetch. Ah, here we go. I found it with the brainstorm, so that's good. I think this is the best. So let's do that. Fizzles. And then I do draw. So Ah, Jesus, that draw. <laughs> okay, it, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to slam in. Okay, cool. So this is basically where I draw uh, natural order from the top. Mm, close. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. Close. My draw was also pretty hilarious. I, I just drew... Okay, wow, that's a good draw, too. I just drew Berserk. Uh, but I couldn't that's cast good. it without mana. So Okay, I'm going to start with this. I drew this one as well. Does this one give any kind of protection? No. Okay, it no. just becomes 6-4. So I wanted to do this... So I could do this, or this, or this, if Julian drew, drew like, um, you know, Assassin's Trophy or something like that. But I mean, I have to go for it. I can't wait for protection. I think that's the best play. <laughs> you just kill me. <laughs> it's always good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Congratulations. <laughs> you just took the first match run of the series. Maybe nice. many more. Finally. So I'm going to end it here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Cancel all our yeah, points. Exactly, Easy exactly. Game. I'm never doing this again, ever. <laughs> no, I think this was That's really what I how... after every legacy Premier League. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> never doing this again. So my hand was still pretty good, honestly. I had swords, Flesh Storm, and Berserk. So I didn't even need to draw the scale up. I already had lethal. Uh, so that was pretty good. What did you have in your That's hand? Good. Uh, a forest. A forest like this was the game where I mulligan to five, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I yeah I, I basically I didn't keep any kind of payoff. I was gonna I was hoping I would draw some kind of payoff, but yeah. Uh, looking back, I guess mm -hmm. there's a word where I flash back. Oh, actually, I, I had the the cable therapy in the yard. Actually, thinking about it, I totally forgot about the cable therapy. I should have flashback the cable therapy. Probably naming Flaster Storm on my turn, or even like Slots of Plowshares. Yeah, probably like mm. Flaster Storm. Okay, right. And then kill your Blighted Agent. Uh, I actually ah, yeah, I totally that, that missed the uh, yeah. therapy. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I still wouldn't have been able to do much because my offense was like so bad. But yeah. I think it would have, uh, would have allowed me to see more cards. I probably, I think if you had Cabal Therapy, I probably would have in response sourced the way another one, then you had one creature left. That would have been scary. But then I also didn't have an effect yeah. threat, so that would have been awkward. <laughs> that would have been yeah. awkward. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, then we're basically both out of cards, and yeah. I have, like, a creature and, like, two or three lands, and you got a Noble Hierarch and, and two lands, yeah. and then we're just drawing from the top, I guess. Exactly. But I think that favors me, usually. I'm not sure. Yeah, not sure. yeah. I think I'd rather be in your position there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you're here to count to 10, you are at the right place. Someone in chat just uh, says that. We're, we're going to try and count to 10, and Junior's going to count to 1 million probably <laughs> <laughs> right uh, i think we have time for 10. another game because i don't have any questions sure. from the chat right now um yeah i'm having um, the, these games are fun uh, despite the fact they don't stand this is not like the most interactive matchup but um you know, i do like them because but probably because i do like in uh, i do like elves in general i stopped playing yeah, elves I, I really when i started playing legacy it was my intention to make this my deck elves but then they printed, um, what's the name of the card that like digs for seven and you get to take two? Dig through time. Dig, yeah, and then oh, I, I just quit yeah, yeah, playing yeah. elves because I was like, this is unplayable. <laughs> and that's when I... Uh, this is one of the few times I actually quit playing elves as well. Really? Wow, hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it that's... Was, it was one of the worst times in the history of Legacy. When that Wizards was just, didn't like, I was ban just it right out. after GP Lil, yeah. I... I I took an actual break. Like on the first ban announcement after GP Lil, uh -huh. it was like so clear it needed to be banned, and then they didn't ban it, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and I just bought a, a PlayStation Four and GTA Five, and then yeah, I good, stopped uh, playing Magic for like two months. And that's I how I feel about GTA. Dreadhorde. They, I have been thinking this about Dreadhorde for two <laughs> months now, so I can, uh, but <laughs> I, can, yeah. I can imagine. Uh, let's see. I started last time, right? Yeah, I think it's my turn again. Yeah, it's your turn. By the way, thanks oh, for the follows. Hand. Hey, Cray, cheers, appreciate it. This hand mm, is, this um, hand. yeah, it's definitely good and has potential. So I'm gonna keep. Definitely, maybe. <laughs> yeah, definitely, maybe. Famous album by which band? Uh, good question. I actually don't know. Just chat now. Definitely, maybe. Okay, question for the chat. Definitely, maybe. It's a uh, album from a band. Which one? First a one to guess Manchester. it gets a million dollars from Julian. 
or a thumbs up. That's up to him. Yes, Oasis. That's it. <laughs> you were typing, right? You wanted to be the first. <laughs> for sure. No, I, I, I wanted to uh, subscribe. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, so this is the first game, huh? Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's really good. So what are we going to do here? <laughs> How greedy. Let's see. Probably <clears> this. <throat> So this one for sure. <laughs> oh, I, I hate that card so much. <laughs> it really oh, is. That's so stupid. Because look, my hand. People can watch my hand. It's like so good, but this just this is why the matchup has really turned around so much. Allosaurus Shepherd is is <laughs> quite disgusting. This is just delightingly stupid. Yeah, say, it really <laughs> feels like easy mode. Uh, I guess that makes easy it, game, easy life. Makes it easier for me to do this. This feels a little bit, you know, as if Noble Hierarch had like an ultimate for like three mana, your opponent gets like five infect counters or something. That would be, that would be really I, good. I think I play that. <laughs> um, you should. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, mm, honestly, I think I just have to shuffle here because I just need to win as quickly as possible. I just need to get lucky and draw a pump spell. So I'm going to shuffle. That's what Legacy is all about. Yeah, getting, getting lucky, lucky and, and drawing pump spells. Pump spells. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do I even want to attack? No, I don't think so. I'm glad that I don't Maybe have I to do. make the decision, but I'm gonna block. I'm just going to attack. Just gonna take it. Okay. But the fact that you played Inkmoth Nexus there makes me feel like, yeah, okay, this is gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. And I wanted like to if attack. you had played uh, any kind of other land, I would have maybe blocked because like my win here is like it's quite likely that i'm gonna win here so i'd rather not take the, the chances of you randomly killing me so i might have blocked but yeah you you played the ink with nexus there i guess if i didn't okay. have nexus i wouldn't have attacked i'm attacking right now because honestly i just want to fill the graveyard for in case i draw ink more um become immense oh yeah yeah, yeah. sounds smart sounds good uh so oh god what's the play here now i have to do math um <laughs> i just f6 because shepherd so yeah this is probably somewhat lethal uh... would you still play shepherd if itself didn't have can't be counted because i think that's the most uh... disgusting thing on the card that's what really yeah. pushes it over to the top i might still but i'm not sure like it, it makes it much worse against chalice of course but chalice yeah. isn't really too big of a factor um but yeah it's it allows for all these especially against there but it allows for these sweet plays when they are tapped out and you mm -hmm. just you randomly lead on shepherd like in the past we sometimes would lead on glimpse and because you know it's either going to resolve when you win or they counter it and that's also good for you but now you you just like you know you're going to win if, if there was tapped out uh, unless they have submerged which is like a big part of why submerge used to be so good the other being dread or darkness being a big thing okay actually let me run it uh, so this is this this far that I, I put this into play it's eight and uh 11 that's 19. oh i can't kill you yet that's quite annoying um, excellent so i have one <laughs> one small window uh yeah the thing is like i might just get arkan here but i'm not sure i mm. probably want to get arkan but yeah actually i really should get arkan that's probably like much better <laughs> how are we gonna do this 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 one down. Yeah, that's difficult for me. Funny thing is, even though I have a, a card in hand that's usually very bad against you, it's gonna do something now, which is quite funny. Parasic. No, oh, no that's instant. an instant. Huh. That's an instant. Oh, Teferi! Yeah, hit exactly. Me. I'm gonna bounce. Arkham. Hit me! Hit me with Mr. Teferi! <laughs> I'm gonna be able to. You're even gonna you know, draw a card. If I'm like super lucky here, I can actually win because of this Teferi. If I draw the exact card that I need, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Let's see. Let's bounce that one. What? Double invigorate. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But well, actually, that wouldn't do it. You can get dry at Arbor, but I mean. Yeah, I can also just block. With, like, you know, the big guy. Yeah, but that's still fine. I would always attack here. As Let's I said, see. still fuel for um, Become Immense. Three, four, five. Actually, this is, this is okay. Okay, so I'm just going to try and kill you. I indeed have double invigorate. Okay, then you take it. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is why I said I need exactly. I had one invigorate in hand, and then yeah, I just drew the other one, which is the card that I needed. But indeed, I think what you did is is correct. I need to have exactly double invigorate here, and that's so unlikely that I yeah I agree with with uh, what you did honestly. Okay. 
it was funny <laughs> that very taking the game yeah, exactly even though i'm gonna <laughs> board it out immediately even though it won me the game it's still very bad Ferry's like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe I can earn a spot on the first team. He's like, no, 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 you're going back to the farm yeah. team. <laughs> Even though you're in the game, go away. I don't want you. <laughs> Submit the deck. And it's very clear that this is a straight-up race. Has, have we ever gone past turn four? I don't think so, right? Uh, most games just ended on a third turn, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, I have acceleration. That's nice. Accelerations. Oh, I love these cards, these hands. I mean, hmm. it, it's not the best hand in the world, but it just like has a combination of cards that I really like. I have this Not card. so much against Infect, but in general. Okay. I have this card, so I'm going to keep. Because I have oh, this. Oh, this card. This. Green discard. I have this, <laughs> <laughs> this card. <laughs> this member, this card. <laughs> uh, let's, get, let's get this. And here they come. The card that was supposed to be Melira, but I figured maybe I shouldn't play Melira. <laughs> you know, if the, if Melira protected our elves from getting minus one, minus one from Plague Engineer, you know, maybe, probably wow. still not. But that yeah. would be. I would. I would play it because it protects Glistener Elf. <laughs> 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 okay, let's see. I I kind of want to draw a card here. That sounds good. I top like this noble, by the way. Why would Symbiot, please? Which is very good. Oh, I drew Vibert. It's like sometimes you know I don't know how I do it. <laughs> Honestly, I drew the Invigorate last turn, so you you can have it. You can have it. That's fine. Uh, okay. So what's the play here? Mm, I think it is this one. Now this is an interesting spot for me because since I have this, I really want to keep Allosaurus Shepherd off the table. So Symbiote is disgusting because it makes me have to make a very difficult decision if. If Julian has Allosaurus Shepherd, this card is nullified because I have to use it on the Symbiote. Um, so I actually, I mean, you can think... still hit the Allosaurus Shepherd and counter my spell. Um, that's true, but I'd rather not <laughs> because I think that's a loss. I mean, for me. at that point, your your force of basically becomes like a three for one yeah. for me, but it could still be good enough. But yeah, yeah. I think since I I have this as well, I think it's correct to just do this it also slows you down because you have card draw now and uh, i kind of want to slow you down my hand isn't the fastest and i think i just want to with these i'm happy where i am at right now uh, so no land draw we but... actually we we were on a podcast together gislo on the everyday channel podcast if you heard about that i hear it's a it's a pretty pretty decent podcast if you want to check it out <laughs> I heard I heard there was once there was someone talking about Infect and I, I, I definitely have to check that out because he's gonna be he has he's gonna have so much good information yeah, yeah. for us. It's gonna be sweet. Maybe you should say sure that name learn. once again, Julian. <laughs> Everyday Eternal. Sweet. GG. By the way, if you uh, wanna okay, check it out, see. I have a link. By the way, if you scroll down, you can read in the um, let's see on the About Me tab. I actually have a link to the podcast, so check it out. That's pretty cool. So this glimpse was a risk that I was willing to take because I didn't draw land and I if if, if I want to wait to play agent until I draw land that's not winning for me I think. I see I see. Oh so here we go. I'm so shit at this. <laughs> so okay. Gizlo Gizlo Sui says to us Julian got to say love the commentary I'm mostly listening in while bottling a beer you guys should start a podcast or something julian already <laughs> has a podcast so check it check that one out he's much better in this than i am i should do a podcast about about our games as well i, I like podcast p podcasting is probably the stuff i enjoy the most even though i guess once it's rolling doing the legacy premier league i, I also yeah. enjoy immensely it's just like the work around it is it's no, I actually agree. I'm, I'm really worst. also pretty happy with this with this series I'm doing right now. It's not a podcast, but it almost feels like a podcast, but in combination with playing Magic as well. So I'm having a lot of fun. So I'm actually very happy that you played the Allosaurus Shepard right now, because this is why I forced. That means that I can do this, and I'm feeling much more safe right now. Um, yeah, the coolest thing for you is that um, the, the Viable Symbol is actually gone, so I can never exactly. like establish the draw engine, because post I only got one. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, this is where I guess I kind of want to draw natural order, but uh, I guess four cards and like so and so. I'm using invigorate right now, even though I don't have anything else because I'm afraid of discard. Uh, and if I don't invigorate right now, and Julian can take it with discard, I'm gonna feel so bad. So just use it whenever you can. Oh, yeah. And even if I draw the berserk later, you're still dead because I have noble, so I don't need the discard. Sounds good. So I'm just gonna slam in with 
this guy here, which has at least three arms, potentially four. Well, right now he has like two arms. He's going to deal two. Is it going to be more? No. No. Okay, two is fine. I'm just going to play this. Because, okay. Because why not? I have it anyway, so. Okay. <laughs> and... Yeah, you take this one. Uh, okay, I had in Fluster Storm left. This is why I forced, because I had another uh, way to prevent you from having a combo. So that's why I kept. Oh yeah, I was sitting on Cradle. I was like, yeah, I just need to hit anything and hope you don't have force. <laughs> but it didn't work out that way. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, I think if I have swords in my opening hand, this nullifies the main threat, which is Shepherd, and that really changes things. Uh, so it's, it's, it's definitely... Definitely interesting the way this matchup has evolved and changed throughout the years. Um, yeah, let's see if we have a question from the chat. Yeah, we have one for Julian. Um, someone asks you, Julian, how does the number of discard you bought in in this matchup change depending on being on the draw versus the play? Not that much. Um, when I have cable therapies, I want all of them basically all the time. Uh, it's not that much about how much discard I have because the it, it's more about the main deck it's more about like what you want to take out if there's anything that's actively bad uh so the only I, like i could see bringing in more discard if i'm on the play uh but in that case it's probably gonna be thoughtsies um because on the play turn one thoughtsies is so much better because you you don't know which creature you want to hit like when one of the games you had the situation come up where you i think you kept a seven or something and you you didn't play a creature on the first turn like not e not even a noble hierarch in which case my cap therapy is always gonna go after your blighted agent um as it did in that game yeah. but if you if you do have a turn one glistener then my cap therapy is usually gonna go after something like uh invigorate because that's the scariest pump spell of them all uh, but yeah, so if I was to bring in more discard, it heavily depends on what I have in the main deck. For example, if you had more graph diggers cages and stuff like that, then there's a world where I take out like a natural order and like two green suns on it, and then I could see bringing in thought seizures. But like I said, I think I would only would really do it on the play because if I if I do it on the draw and then you go turn one glistener and, and then I have, mm. I have thought seizures, it's okay still because you the, the information in this matchup is quite worth a right? lot. Because you, yeah, and also I, I don't know. really want to cast it on the first turn on the draw uh, as well because then I'm uh, going to be so incredibly slow. Like yeah. I, I never really want to cast this curse card on the first turn in any kind of matchup almost. Uh, Sometimes you do it against Mercus because those matchups are not very tempo dominated anyway. But oh well, I don't want to cast this card on the first turn. So yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy that you say this because I've said this a couple of times on stream when I'm playing against Elves. If my Elves opponent starts on turn one discard, I actually like this. And that may seem weird, yeah. but I'm like, okay, fine. So you just wasted a turn because this really is a race. And if if um, the Elves player spends their turn to play a Thoughtsies or a Cabal Therapy, I'm usually not all that unhappy about it. It's like, okay, so you wasted your turn one, which is very important to set <laughs> you up a turn. That's fine. Go ahead. And this is also something that I've the I've I've discussed deafening silence uh, a couple of while, um, a couple of minutes ago, right? And I've seen that if elves players play deafening silence in the sideboard, they bring it in against infect. And I actually disagree with this. Maybe you can talk more about this, but I don't think that despite the fact that deafening silence is good against combo matchups, specifically against infect, when you're playing elves, it's not that good as you think it is. That's at least how it feels to me. Um, and if you spend your first turn playing that one, I again, I don't really mind. And I often have found that I don't play, I don't go two pump spells at once all that often. I think in all the games we've played, have I ever just gone double pump spell in a turn? Yeah, maybe <laughs> once. Um, yeah, twice. <laughs> yeah, or twice. I've twice. got double invigorated. <laughs> um, it's, I don't know, it doesn't feel that strong to me, but maybe you can you can talk more. Maybe you, you think it is strong and I'm just um, wrong about this. It, it's possible. It's just how it feels to me. But uh, what, what do you think, Julian? But the most important thing about in, in, uh, Deafening Silence in the first place is how much removal spells you have, because that's the kind of dynamic you're looking for. Yeah, like exactly. If you, yeah, exactly. I, the, so the very first thing is I don't ever want to play Deafening Silence on the first turn for basically two, or, or rather one reason that you already mentioned. You're slowing yourself down so immensely, especially if you're on the draw. Like That's, that's almost like a death sentence. That's so bad when you do that. But uh, I don't hate it. It depends on the deck. And elves, I don't really like it all that much against Infect because elves has like three to four removal spells. And sometimes you 
only like half of them can hit uh, Ink Moth Nexus in the first place. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really not a big fan of Elves, and I, I don't really see much I would take out. Like I mentioned, if you have if you lean heavily on Grafdigger's <laughs> Cages, then I could see taking out some Greens and Sunnets, maybe. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm not thrilled to bring in Deafening Silence. With Maverick, I just opened Maverick on my side here as well. I, I definitely do bring them in, because in, with Maverick, I already have like a bunch of removal, and then I bring in even more spot removal for one mana. And uh, I, I just like that kind of dynamic, and I also have Wastelands for the, what's it called? Ink Moth Nexus, so that's kind of like another removal spell. You you have like Chitter to, to try stuff. And you most importantly, you have some stuff that you're actually gonna take out. For example, Better Sky is just like horrible. I don't I don't better sky that much. There's no, like no, a no, bunch of like sure. expensive stuff that I don't really want. Like Ramo work. I guess I could see <coughs> keeping some Ramo of excavators because of wastelands, but like Tireless Tracker is gonna come out and like the scavenging use is probably gonna come out. Like eating your graveyard is okay, but it's really not the greatest. So since in Merrick I have more stuff to bring in, uh, to take out. I have more spot removal. I like the deafening silences. Uh, with elves, I'm yeah. The elves, is, elves is more about critical mass, and yeah, yeah that's another exactly. reason why I don't like the deafening silences. It's a race, right? By the way, Atacob, thank you so much for the subscription. I really do appreciate this, and uh, yeah, it makes uh, me happy, and that I can uh, make and continue to improve this content. So cheers, thank you very much. Um, let's see, Julian. I don't know if you have time to play one more. Sure. Um, I have time. Let's do so. one more. Okay, great. Uh, wait, maybe, maybe I can, we have played a lot of, I have Simic Infect right here, so maybe I should just play blue-green and uh, swap it up for uh, for a change. Sure. If I have sure. the cards, uh, I'm lacking one in my uh, Simic build, I'm lacking one Gravdigger's Cage, but it's not, yeah, it is relevant in this matchup, but I can just change <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, now I'll just run, just my, I'll just run my, my the same list, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It would take too much of an, uh, a hassle here. Okay, let's see, so I'm going to play this one. Okay. Okay. Um, who started last game? I don't remember. Um, Was it me or I'm not sure. Uh, does chat remember? Yeah, chat know. remembers. Guys, who who played first last game? Who? I think I played first and I yeah I, I played first and I lost the the first game. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's I, your turn again. I get to play first. Okay. Like to play yeah. first. Thank you very much. This hand is excellent, Ooh. but it has no lands, so I guess it makes it uh -huh. bad. This is a keep. Um, again, I know I'm playing as elf, so this is bad, especially in the main. So I'm just gonna play this and pass. Okay. Right. How good is your hand, Julian? I On a scale from, uh, from zero to wow. Okay. I, you know when I never do something on the first turn, that usually means like I'm in a great position, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I probably had okay. the best top deck I could have. No, that's that's a very good draw. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, you have sixth. Oh man, that that means I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I just I just drew the invigorate that I needed. I have berserk, so and I also have sc uh, spell players plus vines backup. So I had this was almost the nuts. <laughs> got me yeah that, that was yeah and this is <laughs> that's the thing about infect versus elves is if i think that if whoever is on if if i'm if i'm on the play and i have the nuts i don't think elves can win honestly yeah uh, that's actually that's the thing i say the most when people ask me actually it's great you bring that up because that's the thing i used to say the most and in fact was more common in the meta game and people ask me about it mm -hmm. uh, that's something i say about the infect matchup and something about the lands matchup with regards to elves i always say when they get their nut draw and we get our nut draw they win and that's mm -hmm. true for the, the the infect matchup and that's true for the lands matchup and i mean it's also true for some other matchups but in in those matchups it's really really pronounced and that's yeah, yeah. That, definitely, it's cool you mentioned that because i used to say that too yeah definitely game one I mean, in, in, in game team, you could have like the abrupt decay and then if I go all in, you just abrupt decay and then you have something. But game one, I know if I have the nuts, go for it, you win. It's it's always true. <laughs> mm. Oh, I need to submit, right. I was busy modding Dino Cat. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> oh, you have a question, Julian. What do you think of Elves' position in the new meta compared to before the bans? So the, 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 right now compared to before the bans. Yeah, I think we, we, we covered that in the very beginning, right? But I can just like quickly mention it again. Yep. So basically, I think Elves is in a better position. Uh, not so much with regards to like Oko and stuff being gone. That has changed our 
approach to how, how we fight control decks in a way that I enjoy more gameplay wise, but like percentage wise, it's not that big of a difference. But the big difference is Strato Darkness being gone because if they ever untap the Strato Darkness, it's insanely hard for Fs to ever win. Like, I, I've been in positions where I felt like, okay, I need to play four abrupt decay and then some because being able to deal with Dreaded Arcanist is just like so paramount, so critical. And yeah, Dreaded Arcanist being gone frees up so much breathing room, not only for the format, but specifically also for Fs. And, and, and it remains Impact, to be seen. So I got your back. Yeah. I got your back, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so like I was saying, it remains to be seen how people are gonna adapt. Like people don't adapt to Fs, right? Fs too fringe of a deck for people to actively super big adapt to it. Mm -hmm. But um, it remains to be seen which kind of Java deck is gonna be the most important and whether that gets to play uh, Plague Engineer, for example, if it's gonna be Grixis or Bug Diver, or whether Blue Red Diver is gonna be a thing because Blue Red Diver tradition is like much faster and in those matchups, we, I, Blue Red Diver is the matchup where you play the most differently in Fs from all the other Diver decks, so... Mm -hmm. I can't say too much about how things are actually going to play out, but I'm very, very confident with regards to Elf's position right now. No, I agree. I think Elf is going to be great in the, in this meta. Uh, I don't know the command exclamation mark and then MBT. Do you know it, Julian? Because the Dino yes. Cat asks me... It's a very famous card. It's a very, very famous command. Really? I don't know it, but I'm probably... A, it's uh, a Mind Break Trap. Mind Break Trap? And what does it do? Then? <laughs> well, uh, do you have a bot in the chat? I do actually. I have a Moobot in the chat. <laughs> what? Do you, what Rod, do, sorry. I mean, you you have amazing production quality, but your choice of like bots and stuff that's that's like if you order stuff from Bush. <laughs> oh, is <laughs> yeah. really? I'm so is, bad with you, these stuff, guys. I you, have, you have like Stream Decker, which is like from <laughs> from the Middle Ages, and you you have I don't even know Moo Cowbot, whatever. Like, I honestly don't MTG know. Bot. Okay, tell me what are the good bots. I'm gonna write them down. I'm gonna get MTG that sorted bot. out. Just get MTG, MTG bot. I think oh, but that, that seems here as well. Like, I have both. But I have Moobot because oh, then I can oh, mute. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that bot, I love it. Because MPG bot does not, is, is not able to prevent people from uh, posting links. And I had so many spam links that I just wanted to get rid of that. Uh -huh. And that's why I also included it. I guess you can you can configure to auto like delete any message that has uh, a URL in it, unless it's like a mod or something. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Okay, that's also possible, of course. But you need to do that on the MTG bot website, I guess. Okay, I'm going to write down. Oh, Johan is already looking for the next guest. Like, okay, we're done with this Julian guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who yeah. actually is your next guest? Don't don't care anymore. Don't care. <laughs> no, <laughs> Johan's great. He he loves you. I can I can I can I can vouch for that. Okay, so let's look at the hand. Um, my hand is, I mean, it doesn't have a threat, but I can find one. Um, and what do I get rid of? This is difficult. I think I get rid of this. Because the, it's the slowest one, so I'm gonna really get rid of this one. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I do have an update on my next guests, by the way, Johan. I'm gonna show it to you at the end, or show it to you. I'm gonna tell you at the end of the stream. No spoilers just yet. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start with this. Oh, that's fine. Oh, Second best one drop. <laughs> See how that's gonna work. No, I think it's fine. I'm not gonna waste my invigorate to block this, even though I have four in my hand. What's the F stack theme song? It's the overture from, uh, I guess in English they call it William Tell. We call it Wilhelm Tell in German. Mm -hmm. Same in Dutch, by the way. And it gets muted on, uh, on YouTube all the time because, you know, <laughs> orchestras from all over the world, they claim, well, this was us. We played this. And I mean, some orchestra actually played it, right? And they own the rights to it, so I can't monetize it if they claim it, I guess. And <laughs> But it's just like, it's classical music. It's going to sound so incredibly similar. So yeah. how are you going to tell me that this? this exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to do something funny here, but I have nothing else going on. And I Very love much. this. I'm going to berserk the wirewood. And oh, that's cool. Berserk is the best removal spell in the deck. That's what I always say. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so it dies end of turn, right? That's how it works. Yeah. So it doesn't die right now. Okay, and I do this I'll because then this I still have out. this left. So, and I don't have any threat right now, so I don't need a Berserk. It's it's It requires um, different spells to work. What would be no. really sweet if I could have turned it like into an elf and bounced itself back to my that hand again? That would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. <laughs> Okay, this is good. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna put them like this, and just play this and pass. 
That was a good brainstorm. Mm. <laughs> What's the play here? Something like... Duh. And with me having this and another one incoming, I'm very happy about having these as well. Another Berserk? No. I'm just going to let it... Uh... No. I think I made a huge mistake playing the, the Heritage Shoot last game, uh, last turn. But what can you do? Yeah, it's like uh, when I when I did it, I was like, if he gets like the real great exact sequence of cards, then it's gonna be worse. But against everything else, it's gonna be better. And you just found the first card that's part of the sequence of cards, so I'm like, eh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you not fetching there, that's I, I feel pretty dead here. <laughs> yeah, my hand is pretty good. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. You're not dead, but even though I don't have a fast combo, I am very happy with these cards. So I only have one Berserk left in the deck, which means the chances of me drawing it are so low that I, again, I just want to fire off this one to uh, prevent Julian from being able to take it with this card. Let's hmm. <laughs> play. Man, I, I need balls. <laughs> Hmm. Should have done this last turn. Data resolves. Just so scary you didn't fetch there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, when someone brainstorms and doesn't fetches, it's always like, eesh. Yeah, yeah. They have like the nuts, I guess. I think I've walked myself into a corner here. This is like the worst, <laughs> this is, this is the worst game I've ever played. <laughs> this the is worst this game like, you've ever played. Yeah, I made a huge mistake when I cast a heritage to it. And then on the next turn, I didn't have balls. And then I'm like, fuck, no, I still don't have balls. <laughs> this is, oh, this is so bad. Okay. So I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna slam in for one. Okay. Okay, okay, this is freeing up a lot of brain capacity here. Um, how is this gonna work for me? I'm gonna wanna keep this for when it's necessary. Lots of pleasure, as I was. <laughs> no spoilers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going to fire this off right now. I don't want Julian naming this. <laughs> and then it's fine. I'm torn between Force of Oil and Spare Pierce and Fluster Storm, <laughs> but since you have like four forces, might as well. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so how many savannas? You got one savannah and no. Okay, okay, okay. Um. So I'm also not interesting exactly to note, I didn't fire off the second swords because uh, even though I can't, of course, with the savannah. But imagine if I had in the savannah, I would still not fire off the second swords mm -hmm. because if you fire off one spell, you know that your opponent is never going to name it again. So that's that's a trick that you can always do. I think. I don't think there's I, any world. I, I was just about to say it actually makes it so much more likely that you have a second copy for certain spells. Really? Okay. Like yeah, yeah. For certain spells, I feel like if they fire off or like one copy, I feel like oh, that actually makes it more likely that they have a second copy because like if they do it like for really bad value and like in a spot where I feel like it's it's really not anything they want to be doing, I I'm asking myself why would they be doing that and then. I factor in that they might have additional copies just because they played it like in a really bad spot, and that's. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not one of those scenarios where I would have like had the read on the second sort of chest, but it's something I keep in mind. Yeah, if I like swords the way Nettle Sentinel, if, if that was the only, one, maybe then you would have you would have considered this, right? But getting, uh, getting rid of the heritage does make sense, I believe. Uh, I mean, I don't really care all that much honestly I, th I always say heritage shoot is the worst dive in the deck by far uh -huh. but here i don't really need either yeah that, that makes sense i'm just gonna get rid of this right wow mm -hmm. i have to get rid of that card it's not like actually I i'm bad i'm bad i should have just like flashback on it like i totally blanked i'm, I'm stupid anyway huh. okay here we go
<laughs> the slowest beat down in the world. I'm yeah, on 23 exactly. life, you can't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I just need to draw a pump spell and then we're good. Can't it's not touch a pump this. spell, but it da, is. Da, 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 da. Let's, see. Let's see if can't I can touch, touch this. it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Ba, da, 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 da. Can't okay. touch this. Ba, da, 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 da. See, I'm, I'm gonna try and. Lots of plushes are actually really insanely annoying. I just realized. Yeah, it's it's really good. It really is. Okay, so do you have the trophy? Uh, yeah. Ah oh, shit. Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> like that. That was like the turn where I played the heritage to it. I I was considering playing the the uh, shepherd. And I felt like, yeah, that's only really relevant if he has like a quick kill and I need to like assassin's trophy. But yeah. And important Let's to note is, is um, my ponder for people watching is the, the ponder does not have uh, another blue spell because, yeah, I have a force of will in hand. And if I had found another blue card alongside this, I would have waited the turn. But I feel like this is a situation where I just need to have, uh, I just need to make him have it because. Uh, yeah. It, what, what else am I going to do? You also rushed me into playing this. I, I should have just waited until you attacked. So you, you actually doesn't really matter that much. You, there's nothing you can do with the extra no, exactly. colorless mana, I guess. Yeah, okay. Mm, so the cards on top are not an effect here. creature, so I'm just going to say yes, even though I don't have a basic. I'm just going to shuffle anyway. Okay. This is like a weird game again. Uh, so I'm can see down to like seven. You're going to kill me and by just attacking three six. times. I can feel it. Probably, yeah. I'm just try, trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. Or do something like this. So that means you need the mana, I guess, from Arbor? Yeah. Boom, choke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good here. Uh, here's my one of visionary. Okay. Yeah, that's the land. Okay. So what do I want? Probably, uh, definitely not Think that. Think of Nexus. Yeah, Nexus. Think with Nexus all the way. I'd I'd be happy with Blood Agent as well. Uh, I'm sitting on another abrupt decay, so okay. you you definitely want Ink Moth Nexus. Okay, for sure. If I can choose. Or I guess if you you know if you have the removal spell, who knows? Yeah. Okay, so I think I just lose anyway. Even if I draw a threat. Even if I'm you draw perfectly, yeah. Dead. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you need like brainstorm into like a threat, and yeah, that, that that's yeah. not even doing it. No, no, I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. Moments piece could save you. Threat plus moments piece. <laughs> <laughs> fog. I need fog. <laughs> yeah, that could constant mist something. Yeah. I don't know. But exactly. moments piece is just so good. <laughs> it's actually crazy to think that Legacy used to be in a spot where people played moments piece. That was before my time, I think. I've never seen that, that was, card. That was like 2010-ish. Yeah, that was before. When did I even start playing? I, I think it was 2016 that I started playing. No, it must have been 15 if you played in Dig Through Time Era, because that okay. was 2015. Probably 16, I started playing Infect. That's probably it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's funny, Rowan is mentioning um, time to run Plague Engineer. I've considered Plague Engineer and Elves like, every now and then. Really? Wow, that's... Yeah, why not? That's amazing. I would never consider it that. so much stuff. Yeah, that, okay, that makes sense. Oh, uh, yeah, this, this this is like one of those hands I've like double glimpsed in Natural Order and Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, it's... If, if those glimpses were something else, I would consider it, but it's just like too much stuff going on. My hand is also interesting. It's not it's not amazing, but it is. I, I want to see how this works out, honestly. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Having this and this is quite funny. Hmm. I wonder what a competent elves player would put back here on a money into six. <laughs> Maybe you can ask chat. Yeah, chat. What would you put back? I have like four moments, piece, and three lands. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be broken if instead of putting back, you could discard the card? Like turn one, yeah, discard Grizzle Burn, reanimate GG nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. I would not play that that game. <laughs> that would be sweet. It would be sweet slash horrifying. Then probably every everyone would probably play like four surgical main. <laughs> that would be the meta. So turn okay. one elf. We're gonna see turn one elf on the opponent's side, maybe. Um, we, we should try to see. Let's see who has the best elf. Well, I got the worst elf. My elf has a knife, so beware. I just, I just noticed now that I have six on your part, and I'm like, oh damn, that can't be good for me. Like I almost want you to have foster food. It's kind of weird, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
that's indeed a bit weird. I'm just gonna start with this because that this is I love this play because I still have a land. So now this feels like chess, honestly. Yeah, this is really. I'm just gonna attack, and whatever happens is probably fine by me. If if you block, okay, that's a trade. If you don't block, yeah, I you never could, block you that. Could, you could die. So if you want to get a read on me, unless I have a very specific hand that I probably can't even imagine, I never try to. Like mm -hmm. I I can't afford to give credit to the turn two kill. No. That's like, terrible. I really can't afford to give credit to the turn to go because if, if I do that, then I'm doing that all the time. And yeah. that puts me just like in the worst spot in the history of, of, of humankind. Exactly. But a lot of players do this. And I, th I do think it's wrong. I think you can't do but, that. Uh, uh, but you, you do see it happen from time to time. And that's quite funny. Hey. Okay, so what's going here? Going on here. Uh, let's try this. God, this is going to get spell pierced so hard, right? Of Lester Storm or whatever. I almost have uh, 60 no. because I don't expect this to resolve. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Dude. It, it resolves. It resolves. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> 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 oh, this is this is scary. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. This is Actually, funny. no, you... If you had, like, sorts of plowshares, I would have thought you would have hesitated a little bit longer if I, when I played, like, my third half. But if you do have sorts of plowshares and you consider that and you that quickly made that decision, then I'm like, oh, smart. I think I'm just gonna go for this. That's why. That's what I want to do. Mm. <laughs> Untip this one. Hit this one. It's gonna give me enough money. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, no attacks here. Should have probably untapped the visionary instead. I just realized. Just gonna fetch because I'm looking for one specific card, and I don't have brainstorm anyway. And if I find brainstorm, I'll probably find the card anyway. So. Um, oh really? Is it is it invigorate? <laughs> it's I'm not gonna be picky. <laughs> I'm not gonna be picky. Oh I see, I see. That's a problem for me then. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, it's fine. I should have double blocked and seen what happens. <laughs> <laughs> but then you lose an elf if I don't do anything, right? Or else you lose both. Yeah. So if you double block, yeah. I'm actually probably gonna say okay. So I'm just gonna fill. Yeah, let me just trade one for one. So I have more elves than you, Julian. I just want to point that out. Yeah. Want to see how that's gonna work out for you? Uh, <laughs> probably, probably not in a winning line. But anyway, I just, I'm just making a statement here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still have more elves than I do. It's true, but not What's for long. Here? Not for long. I'm gonna try to figure out some stuff. Dude, I never run the numbers on, the, on this kind of stuff. I'm just like, yeah, this is, this feels like it should work. It has worked in the past, so it's going to work again. It's probably... I trust my deck to probably deliver. probably going to be the winning line here. Actually, oh no, I, I should be careful. I only have one wild symbol in my deck. Okay, just be smart, Julian. Don't yeah, do sure, it. Yeah. Don't do the stupid thing. Do the smart thing. And the smart player does this, I guess. God, this is just like so random. Uh, I guess this, and then something like this, and then we go for this, and if, yeah. Finish Yikes. him. Yikes. Just a crater hoof. It's gonna be enough, Should I be. think. Oh, uh, yeah, this is this is like probably enough. Yeah, yeah, this is 40, 20, 25. I love your I'm just like there. figuring some. This is like probably enough. I love I love the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah I, I just like i know like all the the this is not a combination that i know but it, i know that it has two more creatures than a combination i know that wins so it might as well just be probably enough yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> i'm just like trying to figure out something else when you play a deck for long you, you you run on autopilot right it's like for me if if you have become a mess in hand remember crop rotation is plus three in the graveyard and that's <laughs> that's so funny but it's just <laughs> it, it's it's something that gets you because you you get rid of a land that's one you crop rotate in the graveyard and then you get a fetch that's three so always keep in mind plus three you get like these these quick yeah. sa quick saves almost <laughs> it just happens. you know what would be sweet if you had moments piece here no but i'm gonna make your <laughs> i'm just gonna make your oh no oh yeah. i'm gonna get berserked yeah for sure but technically i'm gonna get berserked mm. but yeah. And I'm gonna block it. Because I can. Ooh. You know, maybe I'm gonna put all the blocker damage on the creature. <laughs> oh. I failed to do that. Too bad. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah, so my opening hand was um was actually pretty good. I had a noble, I had an elf, but then I had Berserk and Snakeskin Veil. And I was like, if I any single pump spell here is just lethal, and I wanted to keep it. Um it was mm -hmm. it, 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 I mean it was a risk for sure. 
Um, but I wanted to see... Oh, you, you had snakeskin, right? Because yeah. I, I had abrupt decay. Actually, mm. no, I didn't. I just threw into the abrupt decay during the okay. turn, so I, I was rather naked to trample damage. Yeah, exactly. That's why I kept it. I, any pump spell that meant it, uh, I won, because the snakeskin gave protection, which is why I kept it. It's a risk, but uh, it's a risk I was willing to take. Are there actually like any all-in variants of, of um, in fact, where you play like four um, Bursarks and stuff? I've seen it from time it's to time. It's probably bad, I right? I, yeah, I don't think it's mainstream. I think occasionally sometimes players play three of them and i've tried it you know but every single time i've played three berserks you're gonna and you never want two berserks in your hand never sometimes even <laughs> one is too much <laughs> right yeah. berserk is a card that's good but it's only good when you have a pump spell alongside yeah. it and it's a card that i, I remember when berserk... that I, uh... okay, I, I was just gonna say i remember when berserk was one of the most expensive cards in legacy when it was like 50 euros or something yeah. we we had a local tournament um actually rather biggest local tournament has like 50 players or something and or like in third place you got a berserk and in fourth place you got like a black border tundra or something <laughs> and even back then like the berserk was technically worth more than the tundra but it was so hard to sell because like there really only was like one deck back then there was like eight land stompy which is like the precessor to to infect in a way i guess and people who like when they played in the quarterfinals they were like oh damn i i kind of want to lose but then <laughs> depending on your your placement in the swiss i might get third place and i really don't want to have the berserk and i guess now it's not that expensive anymore right but to to me still like when i see berserk i think like oh expensive card it's funny because i saw recently Depress. a post on twitter where uh i don't remember the game but um they actually uh they had the the fourth to eighth place of a certain game it wasn't magic and the winner there got one bitcoin <laughs> and it was it was yeah, like yeah. yeah it was like so funny because i was like Ish, one bitcoin who 25 cares, right? and <laughs> the, the, there was a brood war tournament um oh, really? oh, I, okay. I almost remember the tournament because I'm, I'm really big into brood war i'm, I'm like i'm really not good in it like I'm, I'm in law leagues but i've been playing starcraft for much longer than i've been playing magic mm -hmm. and i almost remember the tournament but i recently came across it and i also saw it on twitter and the the fifth to eighth place they actually got 25 bitcoin which i I think it's a million right now <laughs> i should get into that game soon <laughs> that's really painful <laughs> so how much uh, is it yeah it's it's 1.2 million right now <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> uh, back in the Easy day when game. you uh, yeah that's so funny i i really love this i really love this ah uh, okay uh let's see if i have any more questions from the chat not immediately okay um julian this was awesome i think i have to uh shut down the stream now because i have to work tomorrow and uh, we started later but in europe it's already uh, 11 p.m even later so uh, it's time for me to head to bed but um this was awesome i had so much fun julian thank you so much for being here um and next week my next guest will be let me quickly check because i don't know everything by heart i have a list here <laughs> i'm gonna pop it up right here aaron relentless aka let me quickly check name Jörg Heinrich let's see Jörg Heinrich indeed he will be playing death and taxes he is the winner of the latest Stegacy showcase and he won with death and taxes despite dread horror canist still being legal and being everywhere so that's insane i'm gonna be playing against him and playing death and taxes a matchup that has always been favored for in effect i think but maybe i'm wrong we'll see because um, i've been wrong before about this stuff <laughs> so uh, we'll see he, what happens he used to play for borussia dortmund in the 90s do, do you know okay. uh, you're into football are you uh, I'm a little. I follow it from time to time, but I'm not the biggest football fan. Obviously. Okay, but you know Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Jörg Heinrich used to play for for Borussia Dortmund in the '90s. At one point, really? when he was sold to Flo Fr Fiorentina, he was actually the most expensive German footballer of all times. Jesus, I think he, wow. he was sold for like 40 millions or something. Wow, he's he's like a celebrity. I'm gonna have a celebrity on my stream. Even more famous than uh. you, of course, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, th uh, thanks a lot for having me. If you guys want to check out my content, I'm um, at itsjulian23 on Twitter and I'm itsjulian on Twitch. I guess you can see me in, on, in the Twitch chat here. Actually, let me, you can just like cl click my name. You have that kind of technology. And yeah, that's that's going to be for me from today. And yeah, looking forward to seeing all the other decks you're going to face in the, the Legacy, it's called the Legacy Master Series or Masters yeah. Series? The Legacy Masters Series because I have multiple people. So I was like, I'll call it Masters. And awesome, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Right. You know what would be interesting if you actually if you kept a statistic of your win loss percentage against um, the, you, the the quote unquote masters you invited to to the tournament and and then just like seeing how that worked out for you because oh, be this is like the biggest legacy gauntlet you ever ran. 
that's true for sure uh that's maybe interesting but then i that would be a good idea if it were not for me losing every single game i played against mark so i have to see if i am mentally fit to do this but uh, <laughs> it would definitely be interesting that's uh, what's your best matchup in legacy uh for infect in general uh cloud post yeah 100 for sure i don't think i've ever oh. lost a game against cloud post <laughs> honestly yeah, it's, it's probably like, like really hard for them yeah they i mean it has changed because now they do play the green creature um I don't remember the name of the one that, that gets that gets lands um the elf oh uh, reclaimer uh, reclaimer exactly so they have a blocker now and that makes it <laughs> that makes it a bit more <laughs> difficult uh it, it's, it's funny because... cloud post used to be the kind of deck that would play something like moments piece mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I, yeah, <laughs> if, if i look at the win rate it's like 90 percent for infect 10 for cloud post and i'm not over exaggerating if i see this it's it's a free win almost but uh, yeah uh, it, it is yeah. funny it is funny but they can they can win like if they have some decks play chalice from time to time most do not but sometimes if they have like a blister very quickly that's scary so they do have things but yeah. generally if i have a medium to good hand i win usually yeah uh, and then Johan is asking in chat how do you do it with different time zones um so basically sam has spared no <laughs> expenses and he's actually flying people around into the central european time zone exactly. it's it's basically street fighter style right they they start out they get a private flight here and at some point in between they gotta like destroy a car and then the tournament continues yeah exactly actually junior is sitting right next to me but i have so much money that i decided to crop him out of it because i think it's cooler to pretend like we are not sitting together that's that's how I do this. <laughs> uh, I'm doing it wrong. People pay me not to be in the picture. It should be the other <laughs> way around. <laughs> exactly. Now, you how do I do this with time zones? Uh, it's, it requires a lot of planning, but um, I, I, I try to, f to, to figure it out. And uh, if a lot of the people that I reached out to are, have been so enthusiastic about this that, um, that yeah, they, they are willing to puzzle together with me and find a zone. And if, if it's really difficult, um, we, I'm going to do some streams in the weekend because it's just not possible when I have American guests over here. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm a teacher, by the way, Johan. I'm a teacher. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to shut down the stream now so I can head to sure. bed. I want to thank every single one of you for following, subscribing, being here. I hope to see you all next Tuesday. And um, yeah, we're going to have a blast. Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.